Hi everybody! Day 30 of My Year in Food. Tonight I'm doing something pretty quick and easy because I've been out getting my hair did and running around. So just something really quick. I went to the store. They had cucumbers and little vine tomatoes on sale. So I bought quite a bit of that. So you'll be seeing a lot of cucumber tomato dishes this next few days. Um, and they had some really nice sockeye salmon, wild salmon. So I got a nice little fillet of that. So just going to do the salmon in the oven with really simply salt, pepper, lemon juice, lemon slices on the top, tomato slices on the top, and a little drizzle of olive oil. Close it up in like a little pouch, a little foil kind of envelope and throw that in the oven. That's not going to take long. Um, pretty much when that's done, the salad should be ready and we'll have a nice big salad with all this yummy stuff. We've got some artichoke hearts that have been marinated, some nice greens, the tomatoes, the cucumbers, which I bought a lot of, and some nice sheep's milk feta, nice lemon, really fresh. Oh, and I've got loads of mint that I need to use up. So I'm gonna chop that up and put that into the salad because I have to use that today. I hate wasting food. Um, just the way I grew up. I hate wasting food. So whatever I have, I'm going to kind of put into this salad. So in the winter, I do, I throw everything in soups to clean out the fridge. But in spring and summer, I throw everything into a big salad. So that's what we're doing tonight. So let's go have a look at the ingredients. Let's get it in the oven and this will be a nice quick meal. And this is J30, my own food. Here we go. Okay, so here's our ingredient board for the night for day 30 of my yarn food. That's the beautiful filet of sockeye salmon I've got. I just gave it a little pat dry. We'll do him with some tomato slices, lemon, lemon juice. I'll show you that before I kind of package him up to go in the oven. Um, Let's go from the back. So we've got some nice organic greens, all different kinds of greens. That'll be the base of the salad. And I've got some sheep's milk feta, some loads of tomatoes, a whole cucumber, big chunk of mint that I have to use, lemons, and marinated artichokes. So it doesn't look like much, but it's gonna be really nice and light and just a nice yummy meal. So. I've got my oven at 375, so let's get the salmon done and in the oven, and then we'll get the salad done while it's cooking. Here's the salmon. Now, I've used a baking dish that fits it perfectly, because you really don't want too much room. You want it to be laid out flat, this big fillet of salmon, or whatever fish you're doing, but you don't need it to be in a huge baking dish. So all I've done, so the salmon is under there. I don't know if you can see I'm peeking through. And all I've done is squeeze the lemons, the juice of the lemons on the top, did a sliced tomato, a bit of that fresh mint, teeny bit of salt, lots of pepper, teeny drizzle of olive oil. That's it. That's all it needs. I'm going to close this guy up really well to make like a nice little sealed pouch. Throw him in the 375 oven. And I'm just going to do about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. It's a really thin piece of salmon, so it doesn't need much longer than that. And I'll get the salad going while this is baking. And whoop, 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 dinner will be ready. A really healthy dinner will be ready in just a little bit. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat this. So this is the makings of the salad. So we've had that cucumber, a good amount of the tomatoes, the mint, a good bit of mint, and the feta cheese, and the artichoke hearts, which I just kind of used a fork to get out of the jar. Now, or, oh, and lots of pepper, obviously. You don't need to salt this because the feta is so salty on its own. It doesn't need any more salting. Um, now, to finish this, this is so easy. You want to get a good jar of those marinated artichokes, like the one that you get that's marinated in olive oil and some herbs and spices. The one I have is um, olive oil and a bit of vinegar and herbs. So to finish this, I'm just going to use that like it's a dressing. There it is. I'm just going to use that. It's probably good. I don't need it to be too wet. 
And then I'm also just going to do a little bit for some more acidity. Just a nice bit of lemon. I'm going to give this a really good mix and taste. And um, if I want to add more pepper, more of that kind of oil mixture, but literally that's it. And this is going to get mixed up. That's ready to go. This is such a great quick meal, but it's also really healthy, which is what I love. It's nice and light, but all that mint is going to be so good for your tum-tum and cucumber is natural, just full of water. So it's a natural kind of hydrator, let's say, um, tomatoes, and let's talk cheese, shall we? Let's talk feta. Um, all fetas are not made the same, and you really have to look for a pure sheep's milk made feta cheese if you have, or if you think you have an allergy to dairy. I have a, doubt, a dairy allergy, but it's just a cow's milk, really. I can easily tolerate goat and sheep's milk much more than I can dairy, cow dairy. So I would suggest that you, if you're in that boat, try to search out and find a really nice sheep's made, sheep's milk made um, feta cheese for this and see how you do with it. Okay, so I'm gonna mix the salad. The salmon's almost done. I'll show you that when it comes out and we're almost ready to plate. So really quick dinner tonight for day 30, my yarn food. So that's what you want. That's where you want it, really. We've given it a really good stir. So some of the feta is starting to break up with the lemon juice and that little bit of oil and stuff. So it almost creates like this creamy dressing. It's delicious. And you don't want it to be too wet because the cucumber and the tomatoes are naturally really wet themselves. So you don't need to add loads and loads of dressing or um, any kind of liquid. So that's gorgeous. Let's pull the salmon out, have a look, and then we'll plate up. Yum, yum, yum. So there you have day 30 of my hair and food. That beautiful little parcel of salmon with tomatoes, lemon, and mint. It's perfect. It came out just perfectly. 375 degree oven for about almost 15 minutes. Perfect. And then we've got our gorgeous salad. So it's sitting on all those yummy greens and that beautiful salad of the cucumber, tomatoes, lots of mint again, and that sheep's milk feta, and those beautiful marinated artichoke hearts. Honestly, this could not be an easier meal. It's nice, it's healthy, it's light. We're gonna be so happy to tuck into all this. So I hope you all try this for yourselves with whatever fish you like. This is day 30 of My Year in Food with Jilly Lagasse. I will see you tomorrow. Happy cooking.